old. When my daughter was wheezing, she's, a, she's an asthmatic child. If she should take sick, like maybe she should attend KT. And there are times, if you should check the record, she would be there not when and I would have to go for her and take her. But I would normally take her to the kids' clinic. I've been taking Jalisa to the kids' clinic from she was a little girl. So once she's sick, kids' clinic. Up to now, because when she did her medical for Edna Money, I did it at kids' clinic. All right, so it was night. There's no hospital nearer to me than University Hospital. So if you if you on your way here, you realize that's the the hospital there. I consider asthma wheezing as an emergency. Right, so I left down here because she was around and she said she feel her chest tight, she can't breathe. No, the pumps are not helping. Once you reach that stage, it's not helping. You need medical assistance. She said she need to go to the doctor. No. I just stop what I was doing, I grab my clothes, and leave out. When I got there, I went around to the emergency section. As soon as I opened the door, I asked, so, you know, you're calling out that she's having an attack, she's wheezing. A porter with hair, he has, he has a chubby body, he has hair coming here, and I, he came with a wheelchair. I said to him, she's wheezing, she needs oxygen now. He wheeled her around to casualty, right? When he wheeled her there, he said I should go and register. I said, register, she just needs oxygen. No, give her the oxygen and then I can't register. He said, register at window four. I went to window four and he said, she's not working. So I said, why him send me them come register and he know that she's not working? He was then talking to the assessment doctor because she was sitting around a desk. I don't know what was the conversation because I could not hear them. I don't know what he said to her. But after the conversation he had with her, he wheeled Jalisa out on the corridor of casualty. While she was out there, the, I think it's a nurse assistant. I can't. Is it because at night? But she had on her. She had on her brown coat, not brown, I think it's grey coat and she came and she put the thing on her finger so man, I think that man for the artery, right? and I was saying she just need, she need to go on oxygen, she need, she cannot breathe the nurse asked, the, the doctor, the assessment doctor, she got up from her on her desk and she went she took, it took her a little while for her to come back when she came back she stood at the door and when she stood at the door, I know she said she said to the, the other person, the person who oh, is her oxygen level, and she tell her she walked away. She cried before she came back with a pad in her hand. With a pad, right? And she stood there. She not gone near to the child, all know we know. She stood at the door. What is the child's name? And I was telling her, they're going to add some little information and is she coughing? Say, Miss, if she's going to cough, she must be coughing. No, she going to cough, no, because her chest tight. She's not coughing, no cold. And she, oh. I said, can she get some oxygen? She need to go on the oxygen machine. She can't go on it. She said she don't have any bed space to give her the oxygen. But I said she don't need a bed. She could stay right here and get the name. She said it has to be done in a particular area. And she has no bed space. The same person who put the thing on the finger said to her, but who put a car up out here? Say, you know, because there's a big accident, accident tank out there. And she said, we can't hook her up out here, so. And the doctor, the, the, the assessment doctor said, no, she can't do it because the last time she did it, she got in trouble and she walked away. Yeah. And what, what happened? So, she come back again. And you know, she, she finished in our little booklet. At the end, she said, I would have to be that there's no bed space for her to get the oxygen. Never. I would have to take her to either KPH or a chest hospital. But there's no space. But I'm saying, but she need, she can't get it here. So the security guard was there, a big man. I don't even know his name because I'm not thinking, but if you ask somebody in the name, you know. My only thing is just to get her going. All she had to do was to get her stabilized. 
So I'm here waiting to see her. Right, maybe she's going to seek some little help. You know, if you put her on some. We don't want to thank them come now. I'm just put it on her and stabilize her and say, Mommy, you can't go get no space. No, no bed no day here to, to make her admit on the walk. She can't admit on the walk on the bed no day here. So take her to elsewhere. But just stabilize her for me. That's all, you know. And send me my way now. So if you stabilize her now, and then me no no one go, then that's gonna be a different story. But you not do nothing. You write the paper, you saw you say you left. And the security guard there. You know him, he's not able to talk because you know he, he left on him job. But you know him come and him pat her back for me. And him a rub her shoulder. And you know him a talk to me. There were other persons there. Persons were there standing and said them hard. You know they make a mumble. Persons going to be mumbly because persons see them and really need the help. Me need somebody. Aha, me there they have all of Only the security guard. So while, she, while I was there waiting, waiting, you know, I kept puffing her with the, the in it like she had two with her. So I was there trying to, you know. And the security guard was there encouraging me, my pat her back. He must say, Mom's open your mouth, make mommy and a puff. Because even one time she pushed up a card and I said, Oh, puff her some more. I said, The puff, the puff not working, she need oxygen. What are you going to do? Nobody. Nobody, no come back, nobody. One of the time, they have a sin thing jump off of the pinny finger. And I took it up and I tried to put it on. Not even the system never put it on, right? The security guard was there and the security guard I helped me. The security guard. Because mm -hmm. even when Mrs. said the two pump them, don't know. I'm calling the husband to come back with more pump. And when he come now, she was there. I said, no, I better we take her from here. So When the vehicle came around, he assisted my husband to put her. But that time now, she... She, she, so me I say, all right now, she knock out now. Same time, he my try, he my help, I say, come, come man, let me put her back in the vehicle. Come go help. You know, he was there helping. He went inside and he tried to pull her over. Me tell it's like the man of my family because I, he my help my husband. While me I hold the door, me a ball. And everybody don't have casualty, same way. People they are casualty, nobody not come up, nobody. When the woman put the finger now, Mrs. She a walk and I said, I'm take her back from the emergency room. I'm carry her back from the emergency room. And the security guard I said, Yeah, man, drive, go back around there. We drive, go back around the emergency room. The porter come out, I'm going to a call, and when he come out, he said, the back up, man, the back up and come in. We'll back up the vehicle and reverse in. And when we reverse in, we go back now and I say, come, the security guard there now, the a female at the front. And she has said, but look all the woman come here, the same woman who come in from when I go round. And I go, and when I go back in the sub, I go to the door with them there. Even two police officers were there beside somebody and a stretch, stretcher, right? Not even them to turn them out to the others and say, we go help the lady you now, them stand up there, you know. I'm on me a ball of it. Mr. Somebody come and help me now. Who can help me? Come, no man. Who not do? Who not do? Who is going to help me? So, who do tell me who not do? Who not up to? Nobody. The porter just said, oh, he got to one, he went to one door and like him said something to somebody in there. And like she come out and she said, me, I can't do nothing about it. He went now to the desk now where there was a I think maybe he's the head chief because he was at the desk and he said something to him and, the, and the chief, he stood up. When he stood up, I don't know what them talk. But nobody now said nothing to me. Nobody now come. My husband go and get to a wheelchair again and the same big body man security I try to help her out now. And it's like nobody when the person them there just to come and help her. Me say nobody no come, not even one doctor no come out. Nobody. So if it was for the help of that security guard who was here trying to lift her. And me while he come back and try to lift her, my husband I try to take her out. Because this time no, you know, she unconscious, you know. 
And let me tell you, if I went there from the beginning and she said she didn't have no oxygen there, me have gone somewhere else. But in the oxygen she talked about, she said she's not in a bed for put her on. For give her a little oxygen. For ne give her the nebulizer. No, my 17 year old just gone, so. Just gone. When me go wrong in this, we can't be one no. I mean, no, they might want to say she did a quote. Which damn quote? Me, me, me say, me, I wait for you. They come tell me, say, COVID. Me, I wait. So, when you found out that she had died? So, me and my husband decide now, we are going to go to uh, Andrews. But now help us. But now help me. He said, I reach at Andrews Memorial. I remember it named Andrews Hospital. Me, I tell you, say, the amount of the, the port of them come with them stretcher. Then put on them gloves. I'm just say asthma. Asthma, asthma then come. I'm just say asthma and then fell down that. I'm come. But you see, it look like I'm my aunt she dead. Yeah, she did. She did. I'm come. I'm my aunt she dead, you know? I'm in my aunt because my aunt in the vehicle. I was at the back of the vehicle with her. When the doctor called me and said, Who are you with me? I said, Doctor, just say, me know that. Because even when I'm there, I'm just going to look after her, you know? And them say, Go and register. When I stood at the window, you know, I tell the lady, say, hold on, hold on, I go look, I'm so calm. I'm going to run, go around, I'm going to draw the curtain, I'm going to see them. They were there working, they were fighting, I see. You know, if I did there here with her and she wheezed and dead down here, you can hear the, I get me chastised, you can hear me sit down my yard, and I neglect her, and her kind of story you would have hear. But I see medical attention, I saw she said, my chest tight. I don't bother wash no more this shit, I just stop. This shit, this hurt. More than hurt. This is painful. I've struggled with my child. I have struggled. You think Edna man is two feet cheap? What left? Cheap. Guess what? She have to do something with her life. And me decide, so guess what? You're going. And think about it. She's studying. I am studying. And my child is in a prep school. So you just imagine how we have to multitask to do everything for everybody to get a good education. How has it affected the rest of the family? So right now, my sister America, the one I claim, was she more are the closest. Clo she and her is like, he has a genocide at her, her child. Oh God, she must require her food. She talk things. She said she'll commit suicide. She said she'll commit suicide. She went to a nearby pond. And the other sister had to call the cops to get her. Because they, they didn't want that to happen. They said it's day. They held that to her. And she has to stay. I don't even know. She's, I don't hear from her. Yeah, she stayed at the facility for 72 hours or 74 hours before they can release her. Because she said she'll kill herself. You know why she kill herself? Right? We are small in numbers. It's just me and I'm my, own, my brother there here. My husband. The others live in America. You know why she kill herself? She was with them in last year. She was with them. And when she's sick and then care of emergency room, them look after her. She's not an American citizen, so how she can go to the emergency room and get through? And it's only a visa she has to travel. <laughs> oh, somebody come tell me. Mama, want somebody come tell me, you know. I want somebody. I want one of the bigger them to come tell me. Oh, I pick up the pieces. I mean, I want this am to nobody else pick me. I know nobody else. I wish we could have developed one champion for asthma. Something we have to do with that. I don't want nobody else's child experience the same thing with my opinion I have to go through. I oh God, I squeeze her hand. I try to warm her up. I try everything. I wipe her nose. I open her eye. I want my eyes to look. I turn her over. I squeeze her belly. 
me, 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 it's not because I know a person with a pandemic, it's not because I'm dead. I hug her, I squeeze her hand, I check her for butter, I try to see her right, maybe she cool and she just want to go warm to so come back. I do all of that, you know. So they tell me now, what if you do? When I let them have a bed to sleep, I may I see and she let up on the bed. No, I move. Not moving. Right? What if you do? I just want to open my baby and just wake up. Say, you is a wicked place. You are going to take my bed and oxygen. Wait, 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 oxygen cup. That's not a combination. I want a medical doctor to tell me because maybe I'm wrong, you know. Maybe I'm wrong. I just want to see the people that come to the then see her body then call me and say, what am I doing here? I'm kissing teeth and draw by the curtain. That should me shouldn't even do that. Mommy is so angry. What am I doing here? What am I doing here? I want to come for. That's what I asked me. I'm going draw by the screen. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm going to try.